need, you need to give me a sec, I need to find the currency for it. It costs two chaos and that should be no problem. Oops, wrong stash tab. We have two chaos, so that's a... Uh, we have three chaos, so that's not, not a big of a deal. It should be enough. Let's see, he is in his hideout, so... Many people now, for time when you're trading, we don't want you to whistle to your hideout when you're gonna trade. And this hideout looks pretty nice, if I want to say it myself. It looks pretty good. I like it. And here we have our armor. Yes, as we need it. Thank you. Let's go back to our we need to craft this armor because if you're not doing that, I'm gonna leave that party. We going to have a more worse armor we had before. This armor is not good, and this one is definitely not good with that mod. So let's reroll it once again on recur with the item I made in this character. Let's see here now. I don't want to do it, do it to a yellow armor yet. Just want some better. I want some better life rolling. That's a good cold resist roll actually. Let's augment it. Hmm, I want some life on it. That's a life roll, but I want some better and regen per second. Evasion, not ability requirement, not interesting. Evasion again. Come on. Here we have a good, a pretty good roll. High life in this one has. This one gives cold resist, or our, our current resist. Fire resist are maxed out. The resist, of course the resist, which are the baddest one us is... If we get level cold lightning resist, we're going to be in pretty bad shape. But let's fix that. Let's travel to our hideout. And craft our own mod. Let's see here now. Should be space for. Do we actually not have space for another mod? It looks like that. So let's see if we can try to craft it again. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh yeah, let's let's hope I I actually gonna make it yellow because I want. And no life. Oh. Can I I can craft it now, so let's see if we can get some life out of this one. Life, life. Life. It will cost me Two alchemy orbs. Hmm. Is it worth it? It's too much currency actually. I don't want to waste that. I have... I actually gonna... Save that currency. Actually... So have better defense than the, the one I have. But I really want the uh, survivability, so... I just gonna... Make it to a... Non... Uh, I'm gonna make this to a non-rare uh, again and... May, may, may redo the crafting. As soon as I get some more... Let's see here now. I only have one, I only have one over chance. Actually, I go to cheat a bit now. I'm gonna take one off from here. And then you can forget I have that. <laughs> I don't, I didn't have anything there, right? So, let's try to craft a better, another mod on it. Not that. That is a good life roll. And we got, that is a <laughs> upgrade on what I have. One more better lighting resist. Why not? 
Why not? I'm actually gonna go with this one. It's better now. And I actually want to use some chromatics on it. Perfect. And we are done. Let's place our Yemen it and learn what I did there. Let's see if we can stash our gear. It's starting to get a little bit crowded here. So there we go. Actually I'm gonna increase the quality. Next thing I increase the quality of my sword. I have totally forgot I could do that. And where is it? There it is. Actually gonna increase the quality of the shield man. Because why not? I actually find this belt when I level up to this level. I am level 60 right now. And I have leveled all the way, I have I'm my way to the caverns, I have not defeated Val yet. So that's the thing I want to do now. And I have not found anything interesting in the other thing I did in this map right here. So let's see what we can do. I really sh I should get... Uh, some more uh, better curses. Oh, chromatic item. It's always nice to find. We're gonna have a little bit higher sound on the game, it's a little bit too light. And I actually realized when I did my uh, other uh, let's play, I actually realized that my mic was too much turned down, so I think you guys can't hear anything I'm saying right here on my other playthrough. And that was unfortunately, I couldn't fix the sound either, it was already recorded. But I have cranked up my the sensitivity on my microphone, so it should be better on this one. And I'm really close to resolute technique now. As you can see, the damage is still pretty good actually. It only says I do 1,500 and uh, something, but that's not so bad actually. Actually something I'm pretty fine with. I'm actually gonna try later to do this to a mana based character, but I don't want to use blood medic anymore on this one. It'd be more helpful if I can have a damage GMD instead. But who knows, maybe that's better to have it mana based, uh, life based. The, be the original build was life based instead of using mana. <coughs> but it's my own version of that build, because the, uh, the old build don't work anymore. And they have nerfed this giant bone shaker. I, don't, I <laughs> think still they hit pretty hard, but not as hard as it did. <coughs> they got low life and they had lower damage. That's a really, really good thing. <coughs> oh. I need some more attack speed, I think. The idea behind this build is to use, I think it's three ores at the same time. I think I have mana enough to use Herald of Ash. Yes, I think I have that actually. So I should actually equip that. Or actually, a it would actually be better to using Herald of 
because my physical damage is not that high, so I think actually I get more damage if I use Hell of Ice or Thunder. <coughs> Maybe both of them, I don't know. A strong box. Something I love to open. Can I identify it? I can. Not frozen. I cannot be frozen. This one can be really good. And it can be my death as well. It's vulnerability on me, but as long as I'm hitting enemies, I should be fine. There was a lot of enemies here. No, I don't need a green. I'm also planning doing a little, little update on my uh, old lightning crit, lightning arrow ranger, which I actually reached over, uh, a bit over 5,000 view, which are my highest views film, movie clip on YouTube ever, and I'm so happy with that. So I'm actually gonna give a little bit of uh, update for. I played that character a little bit, and <coughs> it's pretty interesting. I made some pretty interesting changes to that to that character. Nothing significant, but some small sh changes. A bit decent too. I'm more of a little bit decent. I'm a lot decent. I really hope Grand Games is going to have a server on Europe. That would be awesome. But I know they don't have the money for it. And I'm, I am okay with that. Maybe in the future they're going to have it. Who knows. find a way up here from here. I'm actually not so afraid of Val, I'm more afraid of the his guardian enemy or whatever you wanna call him. I'm more afraid of them. Yeah I'm a lot more scarier. Because I just keep going to circle around him so I not get hit. But you never know, maybe you get hit by the laser, and I don't like the, the Valve's laser. And actually, some of you actually maybe wonder why I still have a mana flask on me. It's because if I sometimes, uh, by a mistake, uh, press one of my aura buttons and they go down, and I don't, the mana take forever to load up again, I just using the mana flask. But you could, uh, you should actually use something better, like a uh, granite flask for the mana. No, oh, for the armor. I'm sorry. A granite and a uh, jade flask. It's the one I want to recommend. You can use both of them at the same time, and you will get a large amount of uh, damage. Uh, I'm too tired, as usual. Yes talking without thinking I mean of course defense See what can we go? Ah, uh, it must be up there. So let's run there. And it was. How can I walk uh, beside that and not see that? You're dead. 
Bone shaker, they do hurt, they still do hurt. I don't wanna get into that ice nova. Look at that. That would only slow me down. It will not slow you down, you just need to have the item on a better way. You need to learn to carry stuff more efficiently. That armor is not too common. It's a really fun leveling item. It will hurt the enemy if they attack you. But it's, it's not that good, but it's something. I only have find that item one time before. And uh, if you have seen my other build, uh, not build, uh, let's play, you can call it my let's, other let's play. You know that uh, collecting low level uniques, if you want to do new characters, is really good as you can see in that character. Just running and killing everything in like seconds. I want to kill that enemy, you want to give me some good XP. If he not kill me. If he not kills me. That would be unfortunately. Look, another map. Hexproof Death Biscop. Look at that! They dropped Herald of Thunder. So we don't need to trade with it. I'm actually gonna equip that and try to use it. Look at that as well. Alright, this is uh, it's going really well. So I think I'm gonna go back to town. I have my inventory is full. See if we can use Howl of Thunder. What do I have? I have haste. Why do I have haste? Because why not? You help us, and we help you. Yes. Mm, maybe. I have pretty good uh, elemental damage here. Yeah. Actually, better elemental damage than what I have. But it is too slow, and that's something I don't want to sacrifice. I don't want to sell that item. I think I can use Hell of Ash without having it supported by reducing mana. But I am not sure, and we will see that really soon. And I don't think I have more space for more stuff in here. I should sell something of this. But I want to show what I have earned on this entire playthrough. Let's be more efficient and stack these together. I say uh, thing, uh, one thing right now. This character have own, owns a lot of currency. Can I use Hell of Ash? Hell of Thunder. Yes, I can. It's not an aura, but it's some extra free damage. And I don't using mana. I don't using uh, my mana, so except for when I'm doing that. Need hair of ice as well. Maybe I can use all of this, two of those auras at the same time. That would be pretty amazing. Because these auras effect is maybe not helping me that much. As I don't crit. There is some extra damage. And it da does get benefit from, uh, from uh, skills like uh, increase uh, increase the effectiveness of buff on you. Will uh, buff this support or buff spell.
Uh, right, we have a. Oh, the next one is dead. Good. Let's see. The apex. Now it's the time. Maybe we die. I don't know. Let's open a portal anyway. My black hole portal. And that's as usual. I gotta crank up the music a little bit. Because I love the music in this game. No, I'm gonna try to not die. Oh yeah, boy, well, let's bring it on. Oh, that hurts actually. That can hurt if I get hit by that. It did hurt. Ice? I'm not afraid of the ice. I'm afraid of the laser. If something I'm afraid of, it is the laser attack. Let's continue doing. Look at that! One hit by the laser! Ouch! Oh well. Oh, I didn't see that coming. I got one hit by the laser. Ouch, that hurts actually. Ice attack. I'm really afraid of his laser. Minions. Laser. If I get hit by that, I die instantly. If you know that, you could just do the laser all day and just make my day so, so bad. And defeated. Alright, we died one time, because we have a little bit too low on life, and uh, because I am have not the patience to do it right. I hope you guys like it. Spread the word amongst your kind, Nightmare. You're not welcome in my world. I want to remember that. Maybe. Anything we want. Let's go to Zaun and we are finally, after all this time, reach City of Zaun. And that's pretty awesome. And as soon as I re get Resolute Technique, Keystone, it's time for... I'm only going to pick life off that, almost. I need some uh, couple more level before I can do that. I'm going to start in on the big life wheel. And before I'm actually going to take some even more life, I'm actually going to show it instead of talking about it. So, no enemies here. Right, on my way here, I need one, two, three, four level. I need four more levels, as you can see, some more enemies here. I hear one enemy. So I can get Resolute Nick, and I can't miss anymore, but I can't crit either. Then, I'm actually gonna take, uh, and starting to work on this life wheel here. I'm also gonna start, I'm actually gonna take uh, Barbarism, and even gonna take Lust for Carnage, Barbarism, and even get the life wheel here, and get Inner Force. I would love to get these aura nodes up here, but they're too far away. They're just too far away. The new the new skill tree I made, you will never be able to get that far. 
But soon, we're getting closer. Soon we can start our fir start to try our first map with this character. That's something I look forward to. Actually, think about one thing. How much strength do you have? Oh, so much strength. Strength are really good to have. Increases your life. And the place we are now, Seed of Stone, this is a, one of my favorite um, places to get the uh, level on. This is a fantastic leveling place. Really easy enemies, really a lot of enemies, fast reset. Look at that! That was a currency box. That shield preventing enemies from taking damage by range attacks. I think these characters need a weapon upgrade really soon as well. And this character is pretty rich, so should be no problem. I need a weapon with uh, bo uh, hopefully both fire and uh, lightning damage at the same time. That's my plan. But that will be for a later episode. I hope you guys like this episode. And see you guys next time. Take care everyone.